Coach, we'll uh, just have you get us started with an opening statement. And reminder to the media, if you've got a question, we've got this flow around. So please uh, make sure that we get this and we get the question. Obviously, ecstatic about the victory. Uh, anytime you win, it's good. And it's hard to win. And obviously, it's been very hard for us to win <laughs> recently. So for us to get any win, it's a great win. Um, Tons of positives. The the biggest positive was just our sidelines and our kids. And one, it seemed like they're having fun. Two, there wasn't that constant every time something went wrong, feeling that we were on a sinking ship. Which pretty much last year, every time we didn't make a play, whether we had a punt or whether they scored, it was like the end of the world for our sidelines. So our kids kept playing. Um, obviously, we did enough things good to win a game. Obviously, there's tons of stuff like everybody to work on. We played tons of kids on both sides of the ball, which was the plan going in. Um, not because of the heat, just because we need to play a lot of kids. We got a lot of inexperience. We got to get kids experience to get better. Um, but we need the win for our own psyche, our own confidence to keep building the thing in the right direction. Our kids know they're better, but they got to win some to get the confidence to keep winning. Um, it was nice the way it played out. Obviously, I'd like to win 100 to nothing every week. That would be wonderful. But very similar to last year's game against Eastern Kentucky when you got a one double A coming in, you're the favorite and you're kind of you're kind of feeling like you're you should have the game more in control and it's thirteen to nothing and then all of a sudden it's thirteen to seven and then we answer with a stop and we answer with two beautiful drives offensively and we score points and you put the game away where last year we panicked and panicked and panicked until we gave the game away, you know, and we did the same thing last year against OU in the last one. When things start to go bad it's hard for kids that haven't had much success to to right the ship. And today, it was just a different feeling on the sideline. For the, it was a different feeling when we went to the hotel last night. There, there's just a calmer, more confident. We, I don't think we think we're, you know, much, much better. But I think they know they're better, and they know what they're capable of doing. They know if we keep working, we're going to keep getting better and better. So way more people contribute this win. You know, even last year, whether we won a couple or all those games that we were close, you typically came in on Monday and the same guys made plays every week. Like if you really, you know, everybody's like, ah, oh, you're so much better. I'm like, ah, we really don't have a lot of people contributing. Like, Andrew Hendricks makes some plays and some receivers make plays. And then on defense, all break Kern and Quint Rounds make a bunch of plays. And really, when you come and watch Monday tape, it's miserable for everyone else. Even games we, we stayed in, we stayed in because we had a few players really keeping us in games. And he, it, it didn't feel much better to me. I know it felt better to a lot of other people, but I think Monday there's going to be offense, defense, special teams. So many more players are going to feel bad about the things they screwed up because they still but feel like, yeah, I made that play, and that was a key play on a drive. We scored a touchdown, or I made that catch, or I scored that touchdown, or I made that block, or I made that tackle. Even on special teams, there was a number of guys that played tons of snap on special teams, never made a play, and now they're running down and making plays. And, that's how their confidence grows. They start to feel good. They make one play, and it's easier to make the second play. Then they make a couple, and now all of a sudden they get the confidence to keep doing it. And I think when we watch them on Monday, there's going to be a lot of people feel good about a lot of things, and then we'll feel bad about the things that we need to get better at. I think I just answered all the questions. Ready, can break. You, can you talk about the defense making those two big turnovers in the end zone? early on and just how that set the tone for you guys? Yeah, it was, it was huge for them because last year when teams tried the ball on us, they scored. We didn't make a lot of red zone stops a year ago. Like, we were usually beat halfway down the field. If you watch the body language of our defense last year, if a team started driving the ball on us, we had nothing going on out there. I mean, we were begging and pleading for them to keep competing and get a stop. They were already done. So, and then the nice one, the first one was a big play. We always talk about great defenses sometimes give up big plays, but you got to run the ball and we got to strip. It was probably a 30-yard gain. And then somebody else who came from the backside safety, Tony Reed's running the ball, and he's the one that falls on the end zone. And you're always talking about, hey, even even when plays go against you, great defenses swarm the ball, and sometimes big plays happen. And usually after a 30-yard gain, it's not a big play, but that was a huge play in the game. Then obviously the next time they drove down there, Tony makes a play on an interception end zone, and those are plays we, we never made those plays a year ago. Even in the games we won, we weren't making big plays. To, and that kept us going early, and then our offense kind of got going. And, you know, offense really shot themselves in the foot. Obviously, in the first half, we have seven plus yards of play in the first half. We had 13 points that we could have easily, easily had in the 20s. You know, easy another touchdown and field goal, if not a couple more scores. So that was frustrating. But again, we didn't, the locker room at halftime was, I was going to go in there to make sure, but they were fine. Like, they weren't like, Last year when we came in Eastern Kentucky at halftime, it was like you could already see the look in our kids' eyes. Like we should be up a bunch and we're not, and we stink and we're gonna lose. Like that was just the aura we had. So we're slowly but surely trying to work our way out of that. Um, so we've talked a lot about 
the quarterback situation. So what was your what are your thoughts on Coomer's performance today? I thought he was very, very good. I thought it just his how he handled it. He was calm. He made good decisions. He threw the ball very accurately. Uh, only had one ball that they had a chance to get their hands on uh, on the far sidelines when we were backed up. Uh, Arnett, he put the ball in very, very safe places. He was very calm, and he made made plays down the stretch when we need him. Hit row down the stretch, and again, it was an easy throw. Row was open, but it was his second read on the play. He went to his first progression, got the second guy. Second was open, and then he threw it accurately because we've had many times we've had guys open, we don't hit them, and you think, ah, you know, should have had it. But just executing when they make mistakes is a key. So I thought he was excellent. So we're Raglan and Billy out there just for some, you know, experience with real game reads. Just yeah, we're still sorting that. I, mean, I don't think. I still think we got two young quarterbacks that are really talented, and we got to keep pushing the envelope with getting them reps. But we're always going to in games try to make decisions, win games. We're not, we're not like mortgaging this year to get ready for the future. But we also know those guys are future, and we think they're really good. And Gus made some plays with his feet. Billy didn't get out there that much more, just based on the how the game went and how how calm Coomer looked. And so I think week to week, I don't think. We're ready to turn the keys. I think we're going to continue to try to use everybody and see where it takes us. And if it, if it continues to go one way, that one guy's clearly in control, then maybe we make a decision. But I, I'm, I'm going to reserve that for a couple weeks. So I like to think by conference, we got a little more handle on exactly what's going on. We got three more weeks to, I've called it preseason. I know it's not preseason, but there's, you know, we have some time to really try to keep growing this football team. And so you've talked about players needing to build their confidence and that true confidence comes with winning. So what was it like in the locker room after the game? Uh, probably a little bit too excited for the victory, to be honest with you. But we didn't win a lot. Like, I'm not going to take that away from these because they that's that's part of it. We, we, you know, I was excited. I don't, I think we beat a good one double A team and we should have beat them. But, you know, I'm still excited that they and they had, they're going to enjoy tonight and hopefully make good decisions and take care of their body because we were dropping like flies out there, but they were dropping like flies too. But. We gotta, we gotta prepare. But it's, it's good to see these kids. They've worked very hard, and they needed, they need this game, and we need this game as a program. And we gotta keep fighting, and we gotta keep, we got a chance to get so much better if we don't get off course this year. We can really, week five we're gonna be way better. Week eight we're gonna be way better. Week twelve we're gonna be way better. We got a very inexperienced team at the positions, and we're youthful, and we got some talent. We got some playmakers. We gotta just keep, keep working hard every week. So I was very happy with the defensive preparation because they do a lot of tough things mentally. And, we are way better mentally than I thought we would be. I guess you could say each team might have a big laundry bill this week of yellow flags and, and stuff. Were you at all surprised how many penalties there there were? Or I mean, you've got a pretty young team. Yeah, so the ones that were bad for us were those special teams ones. And they were just, you know, we talk about being a great teammate. And being a great teammate is making decisions. And a lot of them were young guys. A lot of them were red, red shirt freshmen, freshmen. But we had illegal blocks on kicks. We had three or four of those, right? Pass interference, we're trying to be on body. What? Hey, if we're that close that we call, call for some pass interference, I'll take that coverage every week. That, that's going to happen when you don't have any pass interference calls, when guys are running wide open, that's a problem. We were on body. We got called for some pass interference. There's other times we were on body, and they threw a lot, they didn't complete a lot of balls. So those I'm good with. I didn't think any of those were careless or reckless. Just guys trying to make plays and trying to be physical and fight for every inch, which is good. But those special teams ones were easily avoidable by a last second decision of do I have a clean shot that it's clearly not a block in the back or we coach them if it's close to being a block in the back you're coming off the block we caught the opening kickoff on the 13 and we started with the ball on the eight because we had a reckless block in the back if we don't block a soul we get the ball in the 20 so those are the ones that we really got to clean up ASAP because those are careless penalties that obviously we, we keep, we're not good enough to start on our eight yard line what's our any nerves before uh, getting your big start here? And uh, was there any point where maybe you were able to get a little confidence as you were going along? Um, yeah, there were there were a little nerves. Uh, but after the second series, uh, we were able to put together a drive. And uh, after that, I think it was just like practice. You know, just playing our game, doing everyone doing their job, and one eleventh of the of the offense, and that. That's how we uh, worked it out today. The little well, flurry, I guess you would say, of, of scores at the end. Is there anything in particular going on different at that point in time, or do you think maybe it was just a case of wearing them, the opponent down a little bit? Um, maybe. It could have been a case of wearing them down a little bit, but you know, we're just uh, doing our uh, jobs, uh, 
playing uh, plays that co uh, coach called. We were running the same stuff we ran in the second half as first half. Um, so we were just executing uh, post-snap a little bit better. How much did it help you just seeing the defense come up with those turnovers early on? Oh, yeah, defense played great. Uh, always uh, puts a smile on your face and gives you a little more energy when uh, defense is playing well. Um, so, yeah, they, they played awesome today. Um, a lot of young guys came up big um, on offense today, specifically Alonzo and Chris Hudson. What are your thoughts on their performances? Awesome. Um, you know, Chris, he can go get the ball wherever uh, you throw it. Um, so he's going to be a weapon for us uh, this year. He's been doing great, uh, great things in the fall. Um, then Alonzo, I mean, he's a tough guy. It's hard to bring him down. Um, I mean, someone hits him, and they, they need three or four guys to bring him down. So they, they both played uh, great, along with um, Kenny, um, you know, offensive line, um, you know, uh, the receivers, uh, tight ends, they all played great today. This may not be your area, but you're <laughs> close anyway, close proximity. Did you get any sense you've been around uh, in the program, obviously, uh, number of years here, but did you get any uh, sense that maybe you're making a little headway uh, with the running game to with what they were doing today? Yeah, um, our coaches preach uh, that we got we got to be able to run the ball, um, and we worked on that so much in the spring, uh, summer, and fall camp. We really worked. The offensive line has grown uh, tremendous, tremendously. Um, they're mean, tough, big. Uh, it's nice being back there uh, when the offensive line is uh, that good right now. Um, so you had some big plays today with your fumble recovery and the interception. Um, just what, what are your thoughts on your performance and the defense overall? Defense overall, um, we came up with a unit name called the Mob. And um, that's the code that we're living by now. So we just fighting for the ball, whatever we got to do just to get it back. and have offense, great field position, that's what we do. And it may be a little early to ask this, but um, there's a lot of new guys, so how do you feel um, both on offense and defense, everything's coming together? Um, <clears throat> we're coming together a lot. A lot of, I came in last year as a uh, freshman, played as a true freshman. A lot of my friends, teammates, they had the red shirt last year. And uh, I was just telling them how the game was and giving them confidence for this upcoming season. And they, they showed out today proud of them. Um, the, the early on, Presbyterian seemed to have some success uh, throwing, you know, to the to the edges and uh, um, and uh, throwing underneath, maybe some drag patterns or whatever else. Anything in particular they were doing that uh, you noticed that was uh, uh, that maybe you guys made corrections over through the course of the day? Not really. I mean, we had we had all fall camp for preparation for Presbyterian. So everything that we saw, it wasn't nothing new. We've been practicing all camp. We um we've been getting ready for them. It was just little mental errors, and the game was going fast. And a lot of new guys were on the field, such as me. So it was just about just getting adjusted to the game. It was the first game, so getting this nervousness out and everything like that. Correct ourselves when it was good. Tony, the two big plays, uh, what do you chalk that up to? Vision, uh, maybe uh, instinct, uh, or a little bit of both? Uh, I want to say a little bit of both. I mean, honestly, it was the glory of God. I, I pray every game to tell him, just put himself in my body and just let me perform the best game I can. And just God. 